cation bar itself is fatter than it would normally be to accommodate the hole punch setup. So you lose a little bit of screen real estate there now. So that's zoomed in on the YouTube video player. And this should give you an idea of how that hole punch is gonna look when you have a full screen video playing. It, yeah, it can interfere a little bit. And, and then you're like, that little area around the outside of it, <laughs> is that really useful to have that is that even that's not even a millimeter of extra re screen real estate like that you're barely using of course it looks cool it seems futuristic but strictly from a utilitarian standpoint is that really that useful I, I don't know if this is the future of design it really feels to me like this is a a stop gap to the eventual no cutout no notch situation i mean we've of course seen slider situations, motorized camera pop-ups for front-facing cameras. This just happens to be the latest incarnation, but I think a lot of it is kind of just a novelty factor in general. One thing I will say is that this is gonna make people feel like they really have a new device. Like that's what that ends up feeling like, is that this is a new thing. This is, this is not something that has existed before. You pull this out of your pocket, you're like, that's not my last phone. It doesn't look anything like it. But as far as the practicality of this particular implementation versus others, I honestly don't think it's a big difference. But then again, I'm a guy who on notch phones, I turn it off. I just black it out. So I kind of find them all a bit offensive. At least here, they are giving you two front camera options. So you're getting two lenses. So there's a bit of a payoff, a bit of a trade-off. You get one wide angle, one standard. So you get some extra equipment in exchange for that cutout. Oh. Most of the sound is still traveling out the bottom. It's a good sounding smartphone. I'm into it. It's a good sounding smartphone. They thought about it. Just so we have a comparison. And let's try that Dolby thing again, see if we did any enhancing for it. Oh yeah, this track you can hear it a little bit. It's in the mid to high range. A little more, a little more detail, a little more crispness, a little more crispness. Crispy crunch, rice crispy. Crispy cream, honey crisp, cocoa crisp. You know what? Uh, this is a nice little package. Okay, this is not gonna be cheap though. Holy smokes, this is not gonna be a cheap device. Be prepared to get up to that thousand dollar range if you think you're an S10 plus kind of person. Battery information. Oh, there we go. Breaking news, 4,100 milliamp hour battery, at least on the plus version, that's a big battery. So I think people are gonna be happy with that. You got some quick charge. You got the latest Snapdragon. It sounds good. It looks good. It's got a lot more in the camera department than the previous version. It's got a bigger battery and there's a lot going for it. I'm gonna play with this device. Of course, I'm gonna use this device. Of course, the SIM card is going to enter this phone and I'm gonna let you know how it compares to some other stuff that's out there. And I'm also gonna let you know if there's enough value here to justify the cost because that's the conversation in 2019 and you already know it. But there it is. It's the S10 Plus. And of course, you can tell it's wrapped in a beautiful D brand. If you wanna know more about that look, Look for the link in the description. There it is, Unbox Therapy. Stay tuned for the next one.